everyone welcome to my channel my name is Teresa and today I'm going to be doing a collab video with the faithful fab nine and Faye chose I'm pretty sure Faye chose this video idea and we are all gonna recreate a look by Queen of Hearts underscore LA she's a youtuber here on YouTube and we all get to choose which look we want to do we want to re recreate and i am new to her channel i just subscribed yesterday and i was looking through her videos to try to see which uh look i wanted to create and she had a look with the w7 romance palette which is a dupe for the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette which i own so i thought i'll try to do that look and here's the shades. I just recently did a video with this. I did the foxy eye look with this palette, but I'm gonna bring it out and get more use out of this palette. But yes, I'm definitely gonna link all the ladies channels down below who are in the collab group. And I'm also gonna link queen of hearts underscore LA, her video down below as well. And yeah, let's just, get into this video and see how I do if I do it if I give her look any like if I do well <laughs> okay the first step she does and I'm going to show you a little clip of her doing the first step so the first color that I'm going to use is this color here called lust is she so I'm going to go ahead and lust. apply it all, all over, over the, the lid. lid well in the soft glam palette dusty rose is the lush shade so I'm going to take this brush that comes with the palette and apply it all over the lid. My eyes are a little watery, so this eye got more pigment. All right, so the second step she does is she applies tape. I just moved and I went through the basement looking through everything. I couldn't find scotch tape. So I'm going to use the powder, the translucent powder technique, where you just take some translucent powder. You could either use a sponge or a brush and you create a line. And I'm using my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. It's well loved. She says she puts tape down because she wants to create like that sharp edge. I'm kind of going heavy with the powder because I really want it to work. <laughs> okay, the third step is she takes the shade Date Night, which is Sienna in the Soft Glam, and she blend puts it in the outer part outer corner of her eye so right now i applied the color date night and i'm only going to add it to this outer part of the shadow and blend it in with lust i'm going to pick up the color desire and i'm only going to apply it to the outer edge here oh that's very pretty she uses the shade Lust, which is Dusty Rose, to help blend it out. Okay, and then she takes the shade Desire, which is Mulberry, and she puts that in the outer edge and drags it up to the middle. Right now I'm using this fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out the color Desire. And then she uses a fluffy brush for the fifth step and with the shade Desire or Mulberry and just blends it all out. I know it's like a neutral eye look, but it's pretty intense. And then she picks up a little bit of the black shade, which is called Black Buck in the W7 palette. Mine is Noir. And I'm looking down at my notes because I wrote everything down. And she adds to the outer edge and 
and she blends it. So, she says just a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. But before I cut my crease, I wanna pick up a little bit of black buck and add it to the outer edge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm gonna add a little more powder. And we'll, we'll try to do this. She does this off camera, but she cuts her crease. And I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I just think this eye primer is so good for cutting the crease. And I believe she does like a half cut crease. So that is what we are going to try to do today. And then I'm going to take my finger and just blend out the edges by softly patting just so there's not like a harsh line. And for the seventh step, she takes the shade Valentine in her palette and pats it on where she put the concealer. And in my palette, the shade is bronze. It's a pretty shimmer and she just uses her finger and pats it on. This is the color that I went with, the color Valentine. And when she I'm says to do all this over. before the concealer dries, so it helps stick the pigment down, so you don't have to use like a glitter glue or anything. And I just want to take a brush and make sure there's no harsh lines. Just make sure it's blended. Wow, I think it came out so good. Let's um put some liner on she puts liner and lashes on i'm just gonna do some liner and mascara because i don't wear lashes but for liner i'm gonna use my hink and henry slick with it and we'll try to do the best we can and i'm gonna keep the powder on kind of like try, like a guide I'm not the best with doing wings, but I'll try. Okay, so now we're gonna dust away the powder and see how it looks. That's like a true test. I might have to um, add more highlighter because the powder took it away. But I definitely see, like, I definitely think the powder helps get that defined line. It's not as sharp as using tape, but it still helps. And the lower lash line, she didn't show what she did. So we're going to guess. Okay, I found my Wet n Wild. It's just like a little liner brush. And we're going to go in New York, New York, New York, New York, the black shade. And I'm gonna line my ooh, my uh, eyeliner bled. Oops, let me pop some of that bronze on it. Maybe that'll help. Okay, let's try lining it and connecting. And I don't think she brought it all the way down. And I'm going to take a small like little pencil brush with the shade Dusty Rose, that mauve, and I'm just going to lightly like blend a little bit. And to complete this look, I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. A 
Okay guys, this completes my look. I hope I did as good as she did in her video. She did have like a pinky lip on, so I try to have that on, try to, you know, look as, you know, my makeup look like hers looked in the video. But I'm definitely impressed with how it came out. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like this. I know it's neutral, but it's so bold and intense and dramatic. It's so like pretty. I could see wearing this to like a party or a date night. I think this would be like a perfect date night makeup. You're going out to like a fancy dinner. I did have some issues with my eyeliner running up here, but that is because my eyes are watering today. But other than that, I'm really happy. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. I hope you subscribe. Um, I do makeup videos. I do boxy charm unboxings, and sometimes I include a lot of randomness in my videos, but I just have a lot of fun filming YouTube videos and making friends with you guys. But thanks again to the Faithful Fab 9. Definitely check out their uh, channels down below. And th thank you, Queen of Hearts LA, for inspiring us to do these beautiful makeup looks. I can't wait to see everyone else's looks. And definitely check out her channel, her video as well, so you can see her original video. Okay, guys, I hope everyone stays safe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.